Train the muscles, not the joints. I am Galantian! Galantian! You ain't jack shit. It's true, I'm not jack shit. Welcome back to Natural Glam Bodybuilding, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about breathing. Now, I've got this question a lot of times, and I thought maybe breathing would be obvious to a lot of people how to breathe when you train, but the truth is, it really isn't that obvious because when you're under pressure, when you're stabilizing the core and you're partially holding the breath at the same time as letting off the breath or letting the breath out during certain parts of the exercise, it's not quite the same as passive movements or cardiovascular type of movements because a lot of times the intra-abdominal pressure, if that's the right word, is actually helping you like holding that breath in there is actually helping you stabilize the spine so what i'm going to do is talk to you a little bit about how i breathe when i squat right so you're going to get a little bit of idea here so here i am doing four plates and you're getting an idea how i how i breathe okay so a lot of it's holding my breath but you'll hear me exert the breath or exhale the breath at the top of the movement but i i kind of let it out just in little bits at a time as i ascend in the movement so anyway just just listen here like my first rep, really conservative on the range of motion. So I'm just trying to get the groove down, right? I want to say something. I, I don't know what to say. I just, there's something, there's something on my mind. There's something, what is it? Do you know? Do you know what it is? I don't know. Mountain. Oh, good. Okay. Mountain. Mountain. Oh, there we go. But just so you know, this footage is from January. That's that's all this footage is. See, that's that's the thing. That's so much footage I haven't used yet. So yeah, this stuff's from the vault right here. But again, as you notice, as I'm exhaling on the way up, I'm letting it out under pressure. I'm not just blowing it out and just, you know, going in and out with the breath like. <laughs> so don't breathe like this. <laughs> or. <sighs> you know, like it's just, I'm just letting it out under pressure. So I'm basically tight and then I'm just like, <clears throat> like letting it out. I don't know, it's hard to describe, but you can kind of get a feel for it as I'm doing this. Now I breathe in on the way down or I breathe in when I am at the highest range of the motion or when I've already exerted the breath and then I breathe in. I inhale at that point and then I suck the stomach in, I suck that core in, keep the back arched and then I lower the weight and then as I exert, I let out that pressure, that pressurized air as I go up. All right, last set, last set of 405. And then I'll move on to some standing shoulder presses. Some of you guys are asking me out there if I ever do standing shoulder press or if I ever do shoulder presses. Yeah, I do. But my main priority is my rear delts and my side delts, so I'm not too worried about the front delts too much. So I'd rather use my front delt energy for chest pressing, you know, to decrease the pecs. But, but yeah, today I'll do some shoulders. Now with certain exercises, you'll notice that the breath won't be quite as constricted. It won't be quite as uncomfortable. So anything that includes the lower back is going to have a lot more core activity and you may be guided to hold that breath in in order to help with the abdominal pressure in order to stabilize the core, right? So 
that's why the breath is sometimes a lot more uncomfortable to maintain during movements which include a lot of lower back movement uh, a lot of core activity that sort of thing so in the shoulder press here i am also engaging the core of course because i'm keeping that spine straight and then i'm of course raising the arms over the head but as you notice i am also using the breath under pressure in this movement as well so you'll notice that i breathe in but under pressure i'm like <clears throat> as I come up, but I'm not just blowing out and in. Like there's a lot of times when I was training people back in the day where they would just breathe in and out kind of like they were doing something really easy, like walking down the street. And ultimately working out or lifting weights is not like that. It's almost like you're an exhaust valve. You have to use that pressure in the breath in order to exert force. So I find the breath and force go hand in hand, which is why in karate and stuff, you see guys going, huh, huh. like the, the, the force is coming right from the lower abdominal area. So that in includes a lot of extra energy or power, right? So this also can help you with your weight training. And this is also how uh, bodybuilders and weightlifters use their breath in order to exert force. Now, press downs is another movement, of course, where you are engaging the core a little bit. You're engaging the abs, at least. You might not be engaging all of the core, but, but you do engage the abs in order to keep that back rounded a little bit, that lower back, right? So I am flexing the abs quite a bit. And so really the same principle applies. I notice that I don't need to breathe quite as much. I keep that core tight. Sometimes I hold my breath and then, <clears throat> and then as I feel the need to exert effort, then I, again, the exhaust valve method, I guess you could call it. <laughs> Now you can see when I'm laying down on my back, I can do a lot of normal breathing, some easy breathing, because I'm just using the arms. I'm not really using the core as much, but when I do feel the need to uh, manifest more energy or more effort to get an extra rep or something, then again, I will manifest the exhaust valve method where I basically hold the breath a little bit and then <clears throat> exert under pressure. And that assists me with getting more power in the muscle. So uh, yeah, comes naturally to me. I think a lot of people it does come naturally too when they exert a lot of effort, it's just that they overthink the process quite a bit. find that during isolation movements such as this one that whatever you do with your breath will be a lot more forgiving it's not necessarily quite as important for you to have the perfect breath uh, in order to manifest the power but I still as you can hear I still go back to the same type of breath right all right so tonight I did some heavy squats 
Uh, I got a good few sets in there, whatever. And like I said, usually the first rep or so, I'm pretty careful with the range of motion. I try to be a little bit more conservative just to get that groove down to make sure there's no snappy, snappy or stretchy, stretchy in a weird placey, placey. Then I went on to doing a little bit of shoulders. So those are the standing shoulder presses that I talked to you guys about. And uh, yes, I do do shoulder presses from time to time. I just haven't done a lot of them lately because I do want to concentrate on those rear delts and the side delts mostly and the rotator cuff. And then I went on to triceps. And I wanted to do a little bit more volume for triceps just because, because I feel the need to bring up certain body parts. I want to bring up the triceps a little bit more. I want to bring up the biceps a bit more and the chest. And uh, I just felt like doing that tonight. And sometimes I do what I feel like because I'm kind of like that. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. If you need to get a hold of me, just go to naturalandbodybuilding.com. And thanks a lot to the patient supporters and take care for now. And remember, share my stuff. Get out of here. Oh yeah, I don't want to forget my camera. Gotta get the camera.